Good afternoon to everybody. Uh, I think probably one of the golden rules of presenting is never start with a confession, but I'm going to start with a confession. Uh, Aspire stopped being a housing association a long time ago. We see ourselves as a social regeneration vehicle. We're there to try and maximise and create social value, social impact throughout everything we do. And today I could give you lots of examples about the ways in which we go about that, but I particularly wanted to concentrate on the work that we've been doing, not just within our group, uh, but with some key partners to try and maximise social value uh, through our approach to strategic supply chain management. So this is the current Aspire group. Uh, it started with a housing association, Aspire Housing, and that's still a critical part of our group. We own and manage 9,000 properties in North Staffordshire, a relatively deprived area of the country. And actually, we spent some time uh, in the mid-2000s as a board and executive actually looking at some of those core issues that affected both Aspire's customers, but actually took that broader, that perhaps that holistic view that Ian mentioned earlier about actually this wasn't just about Aspire housing, it was about the broader North Staffordshire communities. And actually, unsurprisingly, a lot of those core issues were much more about the socioeconomic factors. It wasn't about the housing or the condition of the housing. It was about a lack of skills, educational attainment, welfare benefit dependency, much more about employment and skills. And we took the unusual step uh, of acquiring uh, a training provider, PM Training, in 2008. And PM, which I'm going to touch on uh, in a bit more detail in the next few slides, became one of our key, key vehicles to create social value, both for us as a group, but also for our key partners. Since that time, we've then uh, continued to expand our social enterprise family uh, through our, our social enterprise, arm enterprising futures. And equally, as Mel said uh, right at the very beginning, we were delighted that Social Enterprise West Midlands joined the group uh, last year. And one of the ways in which we demonstrate uh, being a social enterprise uh, is by gift aiding the majority of our profits from particularly PM training and through Enterprising Futures to our group charity, the Realise Foundation. And the Realise Foundation is there pretty much to try and create and generate social value, particularly to try and go that bit further uh, as a group to particularly create uh, more training, employment and enterprise opportunities. And this is our group vision. It's about creating prosperous communities. So trying to change the communities where we work, enhancing individual life chances and maximising impact. All fine words. They're a vision that underpinned by four core aims. Three of those aims are specifically about impact. And I would say and argue that social value and impact is just a core part of the Aspire Group's DNA. You either are in it to try and uh, really achieve that vision, or you're not. And part of working for Aspire is this is a long-term transformational agenda. A lot of our communities have taken decades to reach the point that they've reached, and they'll take decades to transform. It'll see me out in terms of my working life and probably my life generally, and that's the commitment that we make uh, in terms of the Aspire Group. Why do we see ourselves as a social regeneration business? Well, we spend 48 million quid a year, not as big as uh, Ian and the County Council, but actually uh, it's a fair amount of money that we could do great things with. 95% of our employees live locally, uh, and last year 82% just uh, approaching 20 million pounds of the goods and services uh, that we procured externally were delivered by locally based suppliers. And all of this is having that regeneration effect of the pound remaining local and people then spending the pound within the area uh, where we based and hopefully helping to transform uh, our economic economy. And one of our key elements uh, and aspects was about how we actually maximise the pound to create local uh, employment and training opportunities. And the main vehicle for this uh, is PM Training. Uh, and we acquired PM Training in 2008, but it's a very long established accredited training provider uh, that's been there since 1982. We've grown PM since we acquired it. We now have 150 staff working for the organization and critically work with now 850 companies, predominantly small, medium, 
sized businesses, sole traders, social enterprises, generally of whom have got the local base uh, within North Staffordshire. We now uh, provide around 2,500 training and employment opportunities every year through four training centres that cover the county of Staffordshire. And we provide a, a wide range of training in a variety of sectors, so some, you can see the link, construction trades and kind of the, the housing uh, nature of uh, Aspire Housing, but a much broader breadth, so business admin, IT, right the way through to uh, leadership and management. So a, a broad kind of basis upon which we can develop a kind of a service model. And that service model starts with how we uh, help to prepare people for work. Uh, and we do that through our own service provision uh, called Homeworks or Office Works, where people are gaining skills and undertaking real uh, work experience before progressing, uh, often into a full-time apprenticeship within that network of companies uh, that we engage with. And we also support companies uh, through a service called Workforce Development. But I particularly wanted to concentrate just uh, around our approach to helping prepare people for employment. And our core client group uh, is young people, predominantly 16 to 18 year olds. Uh, and we have 650 young people who come through our doors every year. We're the largest provider of a government program known as Foundation Learning. Uh, it's fair to say that the vast majority of our young people who come through our door uh, don't necessarily have the best uh, <laughs> academic qualifications. Many might be coming to us actually with no academic qualifications. Unfortunately, a good number of those young people who come through our door just simply haven't had the best start in life. And yet, we have a view and a vision that every young person who comes through our door is a special talent waiting to be found. We also work uh, with unemployed adults in the 19 to 24 uh, year age group. Uh, and the majority, uh, unsurprisingly, come from uh, some of the most deprived areas uh, in Staffordshire and some of the most disadvantaged backgrounds. And the approach we very much take uh, is one of a, a structured approach. We focus on key skills like attitude, timekeeping, attendance and behaviour because that's what companies say are important to them. And we then provide real work experience uh, through our homeworks and office work service across a range of disciplines ensuring that every single one of our learners are work ready, effectively having at least 26 weeks real work experience. And these are some of our homeworks and office work services that we provide. So it ranges from providing gardening services for elderly, disabled, vulnerable uh, members of the community within North Staffordshire to painting and decorating, uh, to carpet fitting, to environmental improvements. We also uh, have an office work service that does uh, customer service and business administration. And the whole ethos here is actually we're providing services to our communities, but we're also using this as a vehicle to get young people ready for the world of work. And we didn't just want to do this in terms of Aspire uh, and took the broader approach to actually a, a, a kind of strategic supply chain management. And kind of pictured on the, on the screen is, is logos of our various organisations, partners uh, that we've begun to work with. And effectively, if I use the example uh, of Ian and, and the County Council, clearly the county has a, a core strategic objective about the economic prosperity of Staffordshire. We have an objective really about trying to, to maximise the social value and, and simply, I suppose, give some young people a chance and an opportunity. Is there a way of actually marrying that in together? Actually, if you're spending half a billion pounds a year as Staffordshire County Council through suppliers, oughtn't we ask them to, in effect, I think the term's already been used several times today, do the right thing, provide an opportunity for a young person. And we've been taking this approach over the last three or four years. And this slide just uh, kind of captures a little bit uh, where we're up to uh, in terms of some of the, the impact to, to that strategic supply chain work. So in the last 12 months, we've had 469 uh, companies who've either got a learner or an apprentice with us during uh, the last 12 months. Uh, on the left-hand side of the screen are all the different partners uh, and organisations that we work with. And then moving across are the kind of categories uh, of apprenticeships and training and employment opportunities that we've been able to provide. So if I just go uh, with the top one of Spy Housing, 
Since we've been working with the spy housing supply chain, we've created 170 16 to 18 year old apprenticeship places through the supply chain of Aspire. Not Aspire. I'll come back to what Aspire is doing in a second. 19 to 24 year old, 76, and so on and so forth. So you can actually see an approach, and this isn't through procurement, this has been before the Social Value Act. Actually, there's something here uh, that's working and adding significant value. And these are some of our results. Uh, PM is the best performer in uh, the Staffordshire region for achieving positive progression into full-time work. Our positive progression rates are generally around 60 to 70 percent, with between 75 and 90 percent of our learners moving on to a full-time apprenticeship with local employers. Our engagement with local companies has increased from 69 when we acquired PM training to now over 850. And clearly, a key part of that has been working in partnership uh, with a number of organisations. And we're a leading case study for the government's uh, new traineeship uh, programme. I said I'd come back to Aspire, and 15% of the Aspire Group's workforce are young apprentices. All the young apprentices you've seen here today, representing Social Enterprise West Midlands, are Aspire Group apprentices. And Rightly, we wanted to say, if we're asking companies to create opportunities, they can turn around to us and say, and what are you doing? Well, if 15%, around 90 young people, are actually apprentices within our workforce, we think we're doing our bit. And we've created 229 apprenticeship opportunities within the Aspire group uh, since 2009. Annually, uh, we're now providing around 700 new apprenticeships every year. Uh, and last year saw us create the most young apprenticeship starts of any provider uh, in the county of Staffordshire. And we've uh, increased that figure from 84 in 2008 to 261. We've also, through our homeworks teams, been able to expand the range of services that we're able to provide to members of our community. So now 5,000 individuals uh, benefit from some of those services each year. And I said that we provide uh, gift aid uh, to our group charity, the Realise Foundation. This is just a slide to, to show what Realise does. Uh, since we created it and launched it three years ago, we've invested a million pounds uh, and supported over 1,500 individuals through a range of activities, whether that's about environmental projects within uh, an area, whether that's about supporting young apprenticeships uh, through grants and salary support, whether that's been about providing bursary support for people to undertake lifelong learning. What we're trying to do at every twist and turn within the Aspire Group is think about how can we go further to actually create uh, and enhance what we do to provide additional social value.